Do y'all want this tea for your big king? Me. <laughs> I'm Deja Denise and if you are new here thank you so much for stopping by kicking it for a little bit I really really appreciate you if you're not a new returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back <laughs> keeping it cute on this side new little background so let's just get straight into it I made a video a while back on my channel about how to prevent razor bumps ingrown hairs and to lighten your dark spots around your bikini area fast that video still holds true but I do some things that are a bit updated now I use some different products some things that are a bit more healthier for my skin because them bleaching products and the light skin lightening i'm gonna get into it but that stuff does not work we can sit here and go through products all day long but if you do not exfoliate if you do not exfoliate none of this will work i talked about how important exfoliating is in my waxing video but if you have not seen that i'm gonna do a quick little demonstration on my hand <laughs> So if you already have some sugar scrub or salt scrub or coffee scrub, whatever already at home, don't go out and buy this one because what you have will still work. I prefer a sugar scrub just because the grains are a bit finer and it won't be so rough on your skin like salt would be. This is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Hand and Body Scrub. I just used it so it might be a little watery. Can y'all see that? Ooh. And it's almost up. So y'all know I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth. Okay. <laughs> You can do a dry scrub or you can do a wet scrub like in the shower. I prefer to do it in the shower so that my skin is already a bit softened and loosened up. So I wash myself down and then I exfoliate. So imagine my hand being my like bikini area. I would simply put the sugar scrub on like this. You can use your hands. You can use the exfoliating gloves. I use this rinkety dink shower brush um, and just go in circular motions. I don't go up and down. I just go in circular motion and I make sure that the dead skin is coming off so that the new hair can poke up straight. So what usually happens with people of color, since our hair is a bit more coarse, the hair is going to come poke up, but there's a barrier there kind of preventing the hair to poke through. So what will happen is the hair will fight its way through and like me, the hair is curly of course and it will curl back on itself. What you want it to do is to come straight out. Hence, you have to exfoliate to get that dead skin off so the hair can sprout and come out and get ready to be gone once again. So if you read online, they tell you to exfoliate two to three times a week, one to two times a week. I have to exfoliate every other day. If I don't, uh, ingrown hair is on its way. I used to exfoliate every single day and that could be a bit harsh, but I wanted to prevent ingrown hairs as much as possible. With exfoliating also comes lightening the bikini area. I'm gonna say this one more time. With exfoliating comes lightening the bikini area. This is so important. That's, this is why exfoliating is the most important step. So when you're like exfoliating that old skin off, the, oh, the darker skin is coming off or however it looks red, whatever, it's peeling back and this new fresh skin is blooming and it's lighter. Now, disclaimer, it's not going to be the exact same color of your skin. The color will still be distorted, but it will be more manageable and you'll feel more confident going on the beach, going to the pool, being with your man, whatever you do. I have done sugar wax, I have done hard wax, I have got my bikini area lasered, and of course, I have shaved, nared, all that great stuff that's already on my channel. This will work for everything. So this next step is for my girls who shave. I use the Venus Extra Smooth Sensitive with the Gillette Satin Care um, Ultra Sensitive. These together are like magic. I used to think for a long time that if it said like sensitive that the razor blade would not cut the way I want it to, but this is holy grail. I will swear by this forever. But I also keep my OG big razors around. And this is just a double pack. I use this for my legs and my underarms. So these blades are a little sharp and I only use them once and throw them away. And that's another good point. Don't use the same razor down there. The, the more dull that your razor gets, the more nicks that you're gonna get. And those ingrown hairs and those razor bumps are going to come with a vengeance. 
I would invest in the razor that comes with like multiple razor heads. I don't do that. That's a little bit expensive. So two in a pack is like six, seven dollars and it works really, really well. This right here is like two dollars and you get about 18, but you cannot use this multiple times. I don't use this multiple times either, but you get the point. They both work really, really well. So next is black soap, like real authentic black soap though. So my black soap that I've already been using is a bit crazy looking. Um, it's cut into little pieces, but I'm already ready to refill. And I have the Doodle of Sun, I think I'm saying that wrong, black soap. It needs to have all little grains in it. And it doesn't need to be black. It needs to be like a brownish color. That's how you know if it's authentic. Girl, this is at the hair store. If you have like a like African shop near you, then you've got the real OG stuff. Whatever works best for you, but I would recommend this brand. When I wash my bikini area, I only wash it with African black soap. It helps replenish your skin, refreshes it, revitalizes it, and helps lighten it as well. So once I'm done with my shower and or shaving or my just regular routine to keep up with the maintenance, I use a few of these things right here. So I have some essential oils, I have aloe vera gel, and I have bio oil. In my old video, I talked about heavy alcohol based products that you will put down there. And it's so unsafe for your bikini area, like ambi, like skin lighteners, all that stuff. Again, they may or may not work for you. It's four years later and I'm still talking about it, so it didn't really work. But I went from bumpity bump bump, like never ever going to the beach or the pool without shorts on. I used to actually go in the pool with these shorts on. They're like swim shorts, so I would have my bathing suit on and go in the water with these. But if you've seen my Bahamas vlog, you know that I go in the pool, in the beach, or wherever, just out and about, honey. <laughs> I have no shame in my game now. No need to hide. I would proceed with caution with essential oils. So I used to use rose hip oil. I don't have any more. I use the whole bottle up. This is grapeseed oil. And this is lemon oil, pure lemon oil. I would not use this in the dead of the summer. It can honestly turn the area more black. Lemon is a natural skin lightener. So when light hits it, it just fries and dies and lays it to the side and it's not good. But I use this during the winter time, use the grape seed oil and the hemp seed oil during the summertime, and it worked miracles for me. I would put the grape seed and hemp seed oil on in the morning and then the lemon oil on at night so it can soak in while I'm sleeping, wake up, wipe it off, and then go about my day. If you are going to go outside after you do any of these essential oils, sunscreen is key. Black girls need sunscreen. People of color need sunscreen. I cannot stress this enough. I talk about this in multiple videos. You need sunscreen. I use 50 SPF. It doesn't really matter. 30 still works as long as you keep reapplying it. And it's super important for your bikini area as well. Imagine like the acne on your face just kind of transferring to your bikini line. Like treat it the same way. So if you have a nighttime routine with your face or a morning routine with your face, you need that same routine for your girl down there. So I don't use essential oils as much anymore, but I do use them to keep my skin soft so that the hair can kind of push through. I use aloe vera gel now and bio oil. I also use this on my stretch marks. It's lightening my stretch marks and my dark marks like crazy. I have another aloe vera gel upstairs and it's clear. I'll put it on the screen, um, but I purposefully brought this one down. If it's green like this, it is fake. If you've ever cut inside of an aloe vera plant, it is clear. So I honestly would recommend getting an aloe vera plant. They aren't that expensive and actually using it for down there. That way you can make sure there's no chemicals in it. Hey y'all, Deja from the future here. So if you have done all of these things and you still don't see results, that could honestly mean that there's hair trapped underneath your skin and you can go see a professional to get it extracted. They also have extracting tools that I will place right here. You can watch videos on how to do them yourself. A lot of times we think that our bikini area is super, super dark and it's not. It's honestly just hair that is trapped down there that has not yet hit the surface. So that is my updated routine on how I maintain my bikini area, how I've lightened it up really, really fast, how I prevent ingrown hairs and razor bumps every single time that I either shave or get waxed because I no longer get lasered anymore. I hope this was super duper helpful for you. If you have any additional questions, drop a comment down below. 
I hope you build the confidence up to go out and about wearing a bathing suit that you're comfortable with or whatever that may be. Thank you so much for watching as always and I'll see you next time. Bye.